everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and this is my living room. Today it's a beautiful sunny day. It's a bit windy but it's time to take down fall and put up Halloween. Let's go. Alright, so here's where I am so far. I've got my flag up. I've got my Happy Halloween there. The trick or treat there. I don't know if they're going to stay there because I usually do this section as my witch's apothecary, hang your broom here type of deal. So I may move him closer to the window and place the other one on the other side of the window. We'll see.
Alright guys, I don't have much of me decorating because I just got into it and didn't change the camera views and <laughs> sorry. Anyway, here is the overview for the 2023 Witch Front Porch or Halloween Front Porch. I apologize for the short video on the front porch. I didn't do any scrubbing, cleaning. What happened was I had forgotten to take down all of my fall decor. So when they came to clean, they just sprayed all of my decor and all of my everything. I have to go out there and respray it because uh, there's drip marks and it's not perfect. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, don't know why I have my teeth here. I took my teeth out. I uh, want to give you a quick teeth update. So I am on tray 17 now. It feels like my two front teeth are not having that slight overlap anymore. My two vampire teeth, whatever they're called, incisors, are still a bit crooked. My bottom teeth are pretty much straight. We're just trying to, I guess, hopefully move a little bit more of, of the bottom of the teeth together. So I'm just going to show you what they look like now. And there's the bottom. And you can't see... can't really see it, I guess, when I talk. I don't know. guess I'll find out in editing. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the very brief, very quick 
put my stuff out, get back in, because tomorrow I have family dinner, and I haven't cleaned this house. I got up and went shopping because my local Dollar General said that it had four of the items that I'm looking for. So I got up, threw my hair up, put some clothes on, ran to Dollar General. No. They've got them. They're on the floor, but they're in boxes. And so I was, you know, going through and peeking behind. It's the few that were put out, not the exact pattern I want. Wondering if I should open boxes, looking at the front, looking at the back. Uh, maybe I shouldn't. So I'll just go back uh, maybe midweek, maybe Thursday. We'll see. Wednesday or Thursday. Anyway, um, I did go to the grocery store. I had some things that I needed to pick up for tomorrow's dinner. I wanted to get some hickory smoke sauce and some sodas for me to have to drink at work. That's one of the things I'm trying. That and this candy is killing me. The sweets are killing me. It's the hardest thing for me to curb. Um, and like butter, milk, just, you know, staples so that I can make my meal tomorrow. At the end of this haul, I'll pull out the meat and talk to you about what we'll make. And, you know, we might just have a cook with me tomorrow. All right, let's start with Walmart. I told you most of the items I got. Another item that I got um, is the 10-pound clumping corn cob litter. Love it. Used to be able to get it for six. It's ten. Eleven. Eleven dollars now. Oh, well, here's the hickory liquid smoke that I got. So I picked that up to put it in with my pork so that it will kind of give it that hickory smoke taste with the, uh, as it barbecues and marinates and whatever it does. All right, ate the whole bag. <laughs> well, not the whole, but most. Ate all the good parts out of it. I had a little bit left, but I ate most of the 90 piece candy bag. And I got this for myself and I got another bag for my trick or treaters and I've gotten into that bag. So, um, it's a problem. All right. Then I checked Walmart, Michaels, Home Goods, Ross, everywhere. I need a new trimmer. I feel like I just got a new trimmer, but the thing, it doesn't cut straight, and I don't understand how. It doesn't unless it was made off or something, but I've been dealing with it for, I don't know, a year or so now, and I'm pretty much over that, so I thought I'm just going to invest in the $20 one, um, the Fiskars, and hope that this is everything I dream of in my craft room because I'm real tired of things being cut incorrectly. So yeah, this is part of tomorrow's craft. We will be in the craft room. I want to start making new envelopes for my 1 through 26 challenge, which I decided I'm going to take that money and use it for Christmas um, because that shopping is right around the corner and pretty much maxed out my card. So we got to take that out of the purse and just use the cash that I set aside. And then once I'm finished with all of my shopping, I can put it towards my car tax and my car insurance. All right, this is the second part of the haul for the crafting that we will do to make my new um, cash envelopes for my 1 through 26 and I want to make some new ones for my wallet and start using my cash wallet again. I'm just going to have to use cash for gas and everything like that because 
it's just too easy to swipe a card or take a card out and then you're like uh how do i pay for gas <laughs> well we deplete the saving yeah it just if i could stop shopping it would help but it, it's not going to happen until after january because I have to get all the cute Christmas stuff, all the cute Halloween, all the cute Thanksgiving, all the cute winter type, and then I have to get all the clearance once the holidays are <laughs> It doesn't end. It does not end, my friend. It's a problem. Anyway, so I got this 100-piece um, pack of laminating sheets. Eight and a half by eight by nine by eleven and a half, uh, five milliliter, milli, millimeter, <laughs> and it is matte. I wanted five millimeter for the st the strength, and I wanted matte because something different, right? So we're trying that. Fifty dollars. $50 for a hundred of these packets. So you need to make sure you're really going to use this system because that's expensive. I tried Walmart and um, ordered online and I got some three millimeter matte ones that I can, whoop, that I can, you know, use as well. And I got some five millimeter matte, but I didn't check the dimensions. Always check your dimensions when you're shopping online because I got some little photo lamination. They're like three by four inches. Okay, they're five millimeter, but they're really small. All right, so then what was that? What did I do? Target. There's something else from Target. I got... For one dollar in the dollar spot, they're very slow to bring out their Christmas at my local Target because their Halloween isn't moving. I, I, times are tough. People aren't shopping like they used to. And they've got all that little pumpkin thing that I snatched up and looked all over for. They're sitting on everybody's shelves in Targets. Alright, so I bought this. These are a few of my favorite things. I'm going to put bags like this in the back of my car so that when my niece and I start our holiday shopping, we can just throw each of our things into here and separate by that. Um, I'm going to use those larger bags that I got the other week from Marshall's Home Goods, somebody. I also got the gingerbread one because you know I had to. Um, Precious and adorable. Great for, you know, reusing, shopping, whatever you want to use it for. So I got another, another one of those. Um, the only reason that I use this type of bag or keep it in my house at all is because this is what I will use to gather the kitty litter in. And then I can tie it up, throw it outside. In the trash can. All right, from Walmart. Am I at? Well, I was at Target. Okay, Target, Target, Target's done. Walmart. I got my groceries. I got my smoked stuff, and um, I picked this up for a Christmas gift for my youngest great great niece. Um, I told you she sang the baby shark to us at the beach and it was the most precious thing and now she has to have a baby shark theme. Okay. Well, anyway, we went and we got the the giant coloring pages of baby shark. So, she gets to have those. And I'll have to find her some big fat crayons for her little baby hands. But, darling. Oh, on clearance for $2. Run and get you some. Okay. All right, I went to Home Goods and Ross because I've 
I decided that I wanted to get that cute little dancing reindeer with them hanging off the roof being precious. Yeah, that's gone. <laughs> they had another one that I was looking at. And I think it was like $16, $19, I don't remember. And I was like, you know, it's just not hitting me. I mean, it's cute, very precious, but it's not hitting me like that little dancing one did. And it must have been at another location way on the other side of town. We're not. We're tired. We got a host tomorrow. We had to clean the animals' cages and bowls and fresh waters and fresh foods and clean the floors and the bathrooms. Yeah, we're not. So, let's start with Home Goods because I think Home Goods is where I thought I had seen it. So, I went in there and I got this. This is a Christmas present. Why are you giving somebody some soap? Because there is a person in my life that uses nothing but soap, refuses to use liquid soap, refuses to use anything other than 1975 bar of soap and a wash rag. Not even a loofah. Okay. Whatever. So I always include this in his... his um, Christmas gifts, and last year everything was Grinch themed, so he got like Grinch pants and Grinch soaps and Grinch coffees, and yeah, it's funny. He's like, are you trying to tell me something? I'm like, yeah, you little grumpy, little grumpy pants, but anyway, so um, it's my niece's husband, calm down, I do not have a man in my life, thank you. Uh, made in Portugal, Dark Amber Soap Bar Special Edition, and I just thought, the packaging looks manly. It smells, you know, more like a man scent. Um, I was going between this and like a goat soap with something else. I don't know. I just got him this one. I make it much harder on myself than I need to. But whatever. Alright, this is something that I have been looking for. I think I've seen it once before. And then I was like, I don't need that. And then I couldn't stop thinking about it. Because I was like, my friend comes over during basketball season. We watch the games while we have a couple glasses of wine. Basketball for college is, you know, November, December, January, February, March. So, December... We got a little wine bowl, bottle holder, and he's a little gingerbread, and you put the wine bottle. Like that. And it rests up here on his legs, and then the... I mean, that's just the cutest thing I've ever seen. Precious. He was 1999, which is a little bit much. But he's also unique. I don't know that too many people will have him. So, I picked him up. Oh look, we could put our smoked sauce in there and show you kind of what it looks like. Cute. Alright, so I got that at home. That's, that's all I saw. Um, I did see a few of the Blue Sky pieces, but none of them spoke to me, really. And I, you know, was thinking about it. Well, I'll just get... No! That's how I get junk in my house. Because I'm like, oh, well, I just have to have it all. So let me get it whether I like it or not. No! Let's get stronger medication. Ding, 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 ding! All right. Then I went over to Ross. I was like, please don't let me find anything cute because I hate standing in their lines. Thankfully, when I got up there, the line was short. Because I was like, I'll just wait in line. I will wait in line for however long it takes for these two items. Let me show you. Well, I'll save the best for last. 
this, my friends, is, I said I wouldn't buy any this year because I really need to assess the situation. But when they sell them of this magnitude for only $14.99 and it lights up, you need to pick that up, okay? It is a little gingerbread house, precious. Has the gumdrops on top, the wreath, the little trees outside, windows on the side, it lights up. So it's got holes in the little windows for the light to come through. And up here it says bakery. So I just thought it was precious. I saw another one and I picked it up, started putting it in my basket. It was a little different from this one. But a piece of the icing was broken, and we, no. No? No. <laughs> We're not that desperate, okay? We're purely picking them up now out of gluttonous need, not out of necessity. All right. Gluttonous need? No. Not need. Need was the wrong word. Anyway. Y'all won't believe. Will not believe. There's a whole table. You know, they squunch all the stuff in and whatever. You have to really look through there because you'll find some good gems hidden in there. I think the employees try to hide the good stuff. But I found it right in the middle. And I went in like a claw. And I picked it up, pulled it out, put it right in my cart. And I said, oops, I should probably check the price. The price on this was $14.99. $2 more than my little ghost that I bought three years ago. What? Are you kidding me? It is a teapot. Here's the little spout. Here's the handle. Here's the ice cream. A little star gingerbread. Candies. Lollipops. This tree is the spout. This comes off. $14.99, and I'm going to prove to you right now that it is blue sky. It is. It is. Hold on there, Becky. Can you believe that? <laughs> Can you believe? I mean, it's good, it's heavy, it's sturdy, it's adorable, and I love it so much. Here's the front. Here is the back. This tag right here says Blue Sky, the holiday collection. I will not be removing that off anything that I get. I think I'll keep that right on there. Guess how much tea I drink? <laughs> None. But I love a cute teapot. They get me every time. So, that was it. That's all I got today. The front porch is done. A little bit of shopping was done. Tomorrow, we're going to be in the craft room in the morning. And by the afternoon, we're going to be starting the cook with me. As a matter of fact, let's go take the meat out of the freezer now. Transfer it into 
the refrigerator. Right, so it's about two and a half pounds um, but I think that will be fine for like six people all right everyone thanks for joining me on today's video I hope that you enjoyed it if you did give it a big thumbs up also if you haven't already please hit subscribe I love gaining new friends and until the next one I'll see you then bye